Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Democracy 3 Africa. My name is Rude Negative and let's get cracking. Today we'll be taking over the leadership of a country from Africa. Uh, it's going to be fun, let's just put it like that. Africa is a, um, a very interesting part of the world where things are tough and in Democracy 3 we, were, we took over control of a first world country. We were looking after, you know, places like the United States, Canada, France, Australia. And indeed, I played Australia and that was a lot of fun. Like, uh, I got myself killed uh, <laughs> as, as the president, uh, sorry, the prime minister of a country that is, um, you know, somewhat non-violent when it comes to, uh, you know, pol politics and that kind of thing. Like, Australia doesn't really have a, a history of assassinations. However, I set a trend. And uh, naturally, I feel that, uh, yes, going to South Africa, or Africa rather, will uh, result in um, more hilarity. Now, I'm going to go with Senegal. I'm going to play Senegal because they are one of the poorest countries there, according to some of the info just given to us here on the main screen. And uh, they've got a reasonable population, 11 million people. And, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, tough. We're going to need to come up with quite a few radical changes if we're going to achieve real meaningful change. So we're going to be the Congress for the Republic and the All People's Party will be our opposition. Let's go, let's see how this uh, how this goes, how this works out. So um, there's quite a few things that are currently problematic with, uh, with Senegal. Um, We've got uh, some really poor infrastructure, power blackouts. We've got poor transport links over here. We're a technological backwater. We've got cyclical natural disasters. Uh, what's this? We have an uncompetitive economy. We have a skill shortage. We have homelessness. We have malaria, which is horrible. Um, we also have um, female genital mutilation as well. And uh, this uh, comes from uh, in gender, in gender inequality as patriarchy's attempt to control female sexuality. So we've got quite a few issues here to, uh, to resolve. Uh, the good news is, though, that we do have quite a surplus right now in our budget. So we've got money to uh, play with. So let's, uh, let's have a look at our policies to begin with. Because uh, we want to see if there's some simple things that we can implement straight off the bat uh, that'll help improve our society. Actually, hold the phone. This this is something uh, technology. Here we go. Science funding. Here we go. So science funding. Uh, this is something that I discovered that uh, it seemed to work pretty well. So what we're going to do is we're going to crank this bad boy all the way up. As you see, it uh, it deals with technological backwater. It deals with malaria lowers employment and improves our energy efficiency, our technology and our GDP. All pretty good things, I think. So we will confirm using that capital and we'll begin that change right here, right now. Uh, we have a look. Go, no, this way, this way, no. What about this way? Detail polls. Policies, here we go. This is what I want. So we also have... Um, some other policies that we can potentially have a look at dropping. Uh, there's some handgun laws, for example, that are... Yeah. I don't know. Um, we might have to come back to those. But I think that the goals for now are to eliminate... Well, if we have a look at our popularity, right? I'm sorry, if we have a look at uh, everyone, right? Let's have a look at the major things that are really uh, affecting the public at the moment. We need to govern for the public. We need to govern for the, the man and the woman in the street. Malaria, power blackouts, and human development seem to be the, the biggest issues right now. So malaria we can kind of um, tackle with also an improvement in health. Uh, so if we were to increase this, uh, we could... Um, Potentially uh, tackle malaria, improve it by another 10%. Uh, we also uh, completely tank private healthcare. You know, it's it's maybe it's a maybe. Uh, go back. 
What else? Oop, that's not what I wanted. What else is there? Human development. That's another one that uh, seems to be affecting everyone. And it affects immigration, tourism, and everyone. It seems like immigration is uh, also affected by border controls. So potentially, we could uh, drop this all the way down. Okay. And uh, help improve immigration. I want to say improve, I mean uh, encourage it. Now, immigration would actually probably help the skill shortage. Like if we could get some uh, skills in here, that'd be good. Uh, state schools. If we increase that all the way up, we would uh, also improve our technology. So we'll do that as well. Why not? We've got zero political capital now. I think that uh, that's really where we're at for the moment. And then I think... Uh, Going to something like, is this immigration? Port of control, here we go. And then, uh, you know, lowering this next turn would be the next kind of step, I think. So we've got a nice uh, improvement. We're gonna leave the law unchanged when it comes to smirking. Uh, we would get 0% of the vote. Happy days. <laughs> We've got 24%, uh, 24, um, 24 political capital, that's what it's called. Let's, let's have a look in here. Is there anything simple that we could potentially, oh, whoa. here we go, we'll implement this. So we will... Reduces in middle income. Yeah, I think just leaving it at uh, TV ad campaigns is fine. That's fine because uh, that's a nice little, uh, nice little boost. Uh, oversight. Yeah, that's not terribly popular. Food stamps, maybe. Fuel subsidies, state pensions, state housing. This would help with homelessness, but I think that we can potentially fix the whole homelessness thing by just uh, improving the state of the economy and our technology. Uh, subsidies, organic farming subsidies, pollution controls. Oh no, I just want something that's really popular. Small business grants. Hmm. Plus is 10. Also get technology grants. I think that this uh, technology grants is something that we do want to have a look at. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Possibly. Hybrid cars, micro-generation, maybe. No, I want things that are kind of targeted towards malaria and public health, that kind of thing. Infrastructure as well. This is an interesting one. I feel like this would synergize well with the... Uh, the small business grants. Free school meals, that would be potentially a good thing. Public libraries, maybe. What else is there? Community policing. Oh, that's an easy one. Forty-four billion a quarter. Like it. I like it. Jury trial. And here's an interesting one. Except I don't really want to be spending um, that much political capital on law and order at this particular point in time because law and order really isn't a uh, really isn't an issue. It, it's more the whole um, infrastructure. Infrastructure, health, that seems to be the big issues that we're facing right now. Uh, we can do a few things though with the... Uh, well here's... Well this, this one's nice and cheap. Do this one. Uh, 
trade unionist parents and infrastructure. So it increases our infrastructure, which is good. We want that kind of stuff. Moving through. No, that's fine. County communities, no. Prisoner tagging, no. This isn't very popular, so I'm not interested in doing it right now. We want to do the, the popular things. Uh, the issue is that I can't check what it'll actually do for me. I can't check uh, you know, how much of an effect it'll have. And I'd like to be able to see that before I actually implement a pop policy. I'd like to know what uh, what's a good or bad <laughs> would come of it before I actually um, did it. I think that we've pretty much nailed all the cheap stuff. Which is a little bit cynical of us. A little bit gamey, but... You know, we want to lead Senegal into uh, a new era of prosperity and uh, good times. Yeah, these are all things that I want to do. Like small business grants and the technology grants. Robo research? No. Agro dealer networks? Maybe. I think that we tackle with the uh, we tackle the technology grants because it uh, it'll improve our technology. Also decreases religious membership. This is a good thing. We'll apply it. Done. So um, we've got some good things coming in now. What's this? Labor laws. This is something called mineral wealth. So we've got a um, yeah, mineral kind of thing. Now our economy type will change and that'll uh, make this disappear eventually. Let's click next and just keep what political capital we've got for the next turn. You see crime is, uh, is decreasing, which is nice. Uh, and unemployment is starting to decrease as well. Now GDP is gonna help that. Uh, health is pretty bad. Uh, it's largely malaria that's causing it. So if we can deal with malaria, you can see that it is slowly decreasing. And right now, our science funding is going to go from zero to negative 16 and a half eventually. So that's going to take some time for it to have an effect. Um, you know, I, over time... It's going to largely correct itself, but it's going to take a long time. Uh, education, that's the other thing. You see that the state schools are improving. Uh, we need to probably have a look at gender inequality. Potentially, maybe. Uh, poverty is what it is. All right, that's fine. So you can see what they're unhappy about. Uh, the whole human development thing is is an issue. So let's uh, let's drop our immigration all the way down to random passport jets, and uh, we'll apply that. I think that's probably a good. That's probably all we really want to do for uh, for this uh, for this turn. Uh, let's have a look at things like. Uh, well, here's the thing, right? If we ban this, it'll uh, really hurt our popularity. If we improved it, it'd probably. Uh, help everything so I don't know need to get more political capital before we tackle something like that though uh, so we've got um, armed police and we can choose what we want to uh, what we want to do with these I think that uh, leaving that as is for the moment is okay Again, I can't. Uh, I can't really change this. I don't have enough political capital. Uh, executive term length. You know, ideally we want to um, 
you know, drop this down to say five or even uh, three years, maybe. I think, yeah, dropping this down to three years would be um, really good. Would improve the democracy and also help with the liberals. We're improving our standing with the Liberals uh, by changing our community policing, which is good. Uh, minority sexualities. Opening here. Ah. If we... Yeah, well. Um, this is quite... Uh, quite interesting. Let's Let's have a look here. It seems that we've got a couple of policies that are kind of that are kind of at odds with the country itself. Like seventy percent of the population is conservative, so they don't like things like legalized prostitution. So you know things like, uh, for example, cancelling this policy would do wonders wonders with the conservative and also re the religious population as well. You see that um, you know that is the one biggest thing that. Um, you know, is affecting the religious population as well as the conservative population. So I think that actually, hold on. So if I criminalize, if I criminalize uh, prostitution again, I think that that would get me a lot of uh, brownie points with the religious and conservative population. Hmm. Uh, let's limit the agency activity there because we don't want them to extort our people with money. We have a superhero that's going to reduce crime and violent crime. Uh, our polls are really good. We're at 0%, so that's excellent. <laughs> uh, crime has uh, fallen off the face of the planet. This is great. Uh, unemployment is decreasing. GDP is meh. Flat, shall we say. Uh, what's malaria doing? You can see how slow the science funding is, though, to take hold. And it's it's the one big thing that's going to uh, help improve our malaria situation. Oh, what about education? Education is improving. All right, let's have a look at... Um, hold on. Hold on. Uh, this is the other part of the uh, the other part of the, uh, the society is socialists, and they seem to be quite uh, quite happy with how we're doing. Uh, they're not pleased about the poverty situation, but you know, is what it is. Uh, unemployment could be better as well. You know, I can't help but think that maybe uh, decriminalizing uh, criminalizing uh, prostitution again would uh, would affect things in a negative way. That is, maybe we uh, just hold the uh, hold the course for the moment. We have got a surplus. That's good. Uh, let's have a look in here. nothing really there that uh, jumps out so um, I think that uh, I think that maybe food stamps is a good idea Work safety law? No, not really. Um, hmm. I 
I think that maybe free school meals is the way to go. Because you can see what kind of effect that has on, on poverty and you know the positive effect across society is pretty strong. So we'll do that. We'll apply the free school meals. We've got plenty of cash so far. We don't really need to fix the budget, so to speak. Now let's have a look at our ministers. They all seem to be doing okay. Uh, oil drilling. Uh, let's let's allow the oil dr drilling. We could always use uh, more things. Uh, we had a slight uptick in the old uh, the old poles. Uh, that's fine. You see that poverty has uh, has decreased, and that's because of the free school meals. And this is this is very very good. And poverty is now counting against. Malaria. This is another good thing as well. Uh, infrastructure, that's fine. State health service. You know, potentially raising this uh, would be another idea. Now, we really don't have to worry about the capitalists or the wealthy because they're not that much. Like, they're not a huge part of the uh, of the voting society. I don't know. Uh, oh, this is something. Corruption. This is something not really. I, I can't, really can't uh, change right now. I can't really uh, improve it for the better. Hmm, maybe. Let's have a look. Infrastructure. You see, our infrastructure is improving. Our technology should be. Uh, yeah. So our science funding and our technology grants are really improving our technology situation. And that's going to come back and, and help our infrastructure, which is going to help solve the whole uh, poor transport links and everything. You can see that we're actually closing in on the stop trigger, which is going to be very, very good. You can see what, uh, what happens. You know, it's got a lot of negative effects right now. Uh, what about the blackouts? Yeah, again, I think that, you know, uh, building a whole ton of roads would potentially change that, but I think that there's a, a more subtle way of, of solving that problem. Let's have a look. Policies. No, that's not good. Uh, Subsidised school buses. Maybe. Clean fuel, maybe. Our emission limits, maybe. We don't really need to strengthen law and order. This is the thing. Like, it's, it's mostly in health and education that we want to be, you know, putting a lot of our effort. I kind of want to do... Actually, public libraries might be better than university grants. Yeah, I think that... Uh, Let's do public libraries. Let's implement this. It's going to improve education, equality, and the elderly. It's going to cost us thirty billion. I think that uh, just spend you know ten. We oh, a ten and a half billion. Just going to improve things just that little bit. So we'll apply that. What else can we do here? Uh, cycling, maybe? I don't think this is this is what we need to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to uh, be the end of the first episode of Democracy 3 Africa, the new upcoming DLC for the game. So if you'd like this, uh, be sure to let me know. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode.